morning folks so we talked about in the last video how to install off access gator so in this video we will talk about how to achieve focus for your uh, refractor in general and also how to achieve focus for your off access gator as well so you may need these two things they come in pretty handy this is the regular student version of uh, vernier calculus you may need to use this to measure the back focus. It gives you like an electronic scale. It's a very handy tool. And you need this little plastic thing. It's called the Bathenau mask. I think uh, astrophotographers always use this one. Regular photographers use this one as well. And all you have to do is uh, put this in front of your telescope. I'll walk you through that step. But I wanted to take this to the next level and I'll show you how to get precise focus using this one. Alternate to this is you, may, you can install a moonlight focuser which is an automatic focuser. You can install it in the image train or you can actually buy a JMI kind of a focuser and you can install it to your, uh, to install to your focuser and it twists the knob automatically. I, it's up to you, it depends, but this is uh, this is the cheapest, cheap version of it, but I think you can get a very good focus using this one. Uh, it's pretty good enough for what we are doing. Anyway, so in this setup that you see, like there are three pieces of the puzzle you are solving. This is your off axis getter. This is your uh, field flattener or uh, focal reducer, either one of them or maybe a combination of both. Then this is your filter wheel and back of it is your camera, right? So what you need to do is you need to measure the distance between these two things like from your back of your telescope to your camera and make sure it is 155 like some somewhere around this area, right? So it should be that, right? And then from the field flattener to your camera it should be like 45. I'm 44 right now. I need to put like one extra spacer, like very small, like one mm. So I'm like somewhere here like this, right? So right now I'm at like 44. I need to put like one extra one. So the way the setup works here is your off axis getter has to go first, ideally. The reason for that was you can use your field flattener as a spacer uh, between these two because you need to you know have that 155 going somehow and then you may want to put the filter wheel after the field flattener you can actually use this you know space as well to you know get the, your 155 done and put some extra space up that way you don't need to do anything so if you start from the beginning I don't have anything here no space or just the uh, off axis getter Immediately, I put my field flattener. Right after that, I put my filter wheel. And I just need to work with the spacer here. So you don't need like too many spacers. You can use your, uh, you know, the way you, you structure your layout, your components. That way you don't need to play too much around uh, this whole setup, right? Okay, let's get to work. So I'm using SharpCap uh, Pro software for the live view. And I already installed the Bathenau mask in front of my telescope. Ideally, you may want it to keep your star like in the middle of your uh, uh, screen. You can enable, you know, the circle or the cross or whatever to make sure that it is going to give you kind of a visual centering of your screen. And once that is done, you may want it to manually focus using the knobs on your telescope. So typically, when you put the Bathenau mask on it, you see those diffraction spikes on the star. You may want it to have an equal distance between those diffraction spikes.
I put a link out there for you to download the software. I will add that in the description as well. Download the Vatinav Grabber software. It's free. I mean, and then you can download either a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Set the capture area by starting from the center of the star and start making a kind of a square. And that square shows up over there. There are two circles there. Uh, one in the middle and kind of a red circle that is off a little bit to the down. When I started it, actually, that red circle was all the way up or all the way down and you may need to use your knob to make sure those two circles align so the red circle that you see a little bit below the center circle if you can see it you may want you you are trying to make sure the focus is precise also on the left hand side you will see a focus error left to the screen and that focus error has to be like below one pixel that was your that that's what you're trying to achieve if it is more than one pixel or two pixels then your focus is off so you're trying to bring it bring that down to bare minimum number you can either manually focus it or use a jmi focuser or any other fo doesn't matter i used manual uh, for several times there is also a couple of things on the top in the Bathnav Grabber software. You may want it to check your telescope focal length as well as the diameter. It shows like 0 0.135 and 0 0.067. So it's actually 135 is 135 uh, millimeter to put like 0 0.135 for that one. Same is for the diameter as well. You don't need to but if you put that over there it gives you a better uh, result. When you precisely focus you will see like those multiple yellow circles starts coming up. That's when you know like you precisely focused your uh, star. So once you have a precise distance between your field flattener and the camera sensor and once you precisely focus using the Bathenov mask and the Bathenov grabber software, you, when you see the stars whether in the middle of your screen or you know to the edges of the screen, you should not have like an elongated star. That's what you are trying to achieve. When I zoom in all the way, I still see a bit of elongation in the corners. I think because of that 1mm correction that I still need to make after the field flattener. Well, I hope uh, this video will help uh, someone who is looking for having an edge-to-edge -edge kind of uh, round stars. Thanks for watching.